Boys and girls of all ages, it's time to get back to our roots with an actual S chassis part. This one's going to allow you to no longer wish it were 5 lug, our GK Tech S13 240SX 180SX 4 to 5 lug front conversion hubs. You will get a medium size pre shimmied by Zach Bach that will include the following 5 lug wonders. Now, what used to be a big old block of billet chromoly has been carefully whittled down using a minimum of 1,000 pocket knives to this very shape, including the 5 stud holes your friends keep telling you you need. Now, you can be a part of the fresh new world of wheeling and brake choices instead of being confined to the tiny room that was your four lugs. This hub comes blank so you can choose whatever 12.8 millimeter studs you want to press in. We don't want to hamper your creativity here, but it just so happens that we do sell studs if you want to add those to cart as well to help with your conversion to the correct side of the argument. Enough chit chat, Dan. Let's assemble and install these already. Sheesh. Get that heavy four lug pizza cutter off your car for the last time ever. Go ahead and donate that to the 240SX Purist Club. In doing so, we'll reveal the unexpected exciting four studs your car currently has. Ew. Snag your favorite loosening tool of choice and smash off the caliper bolts, then hang the caliper out of the way safely. Now remove the disc and donate that sucker to a museum because you won't need it ever again. Grab a pointy tool with a flat end and pop off the center cap. Bend the split pin ears together and get that split pin out. Grab the BFI and the BFS and zap the hub nut off as shown here. Now using the spindle for max leverage, thumb that sucker off and onto a bench as we will be borrowing a part from it. In this case, said part we'll be reusing is the OEM circlip, so use whatever methods you see fit and get that out without yeeting it across the room or into your eye. Now's the time to donate the hub to the trash can, though this won't yield you any tax benefits unfortunately. You will need an OEM S13 bearing as clearly shown on the screen here, this one being brand spanking new. Now you want to grab a socket or something similar in diameter to the bearing and press it in on the outside edges. Now go ahead and press that sucker all the way down until it bottoms out which should leave you with a slight recess at the top for circlip and insertage. Speaking of such, go ahead and yeetlessly wrangle that circlip back into the recess area that you left from earlier. Now remember back when I mentioned those studs that you could add to cart if you were so inclined? This is where we will be installing said studs. These are the extended 12.8 millimeter versions we sell for S13 style vehicles. To install, support the hub with something of choice, then get the press lined up and press the studs in until they bottom out one at a time until you've completed all all five of them. Congrats! You've now completed all the heavy lifting and it's time to toss this five studded wonder back on your whip. Slide the fresh AF hub back onto the spindle, then the recessed OEM washer, and finally the big old nut. Now tighten and torque that down to the assorted numbers shown here on the screen. Toss in the split pin that you 100% for sure did not lose and spread those ears out for safety. Knock that dust cap on and it's time to source new rotors and wheels. Hooray for spending even more money. But hey, at least you have choices now, my guy. One of us in these videos has five lugs swapped his entire life and you could subscribe to find out which one it actually was. However, we don't provide tax deduction receipts for this service. If you can't install these, please have a professional do it or reach out to us with any questions. This has been Officer Dan, Johnny Caps, and Philanthropist Zach with another GK Tech How-To. Peace.